Welcome back to another episode of Battletech Campaign. I'm back here and I'm here to destroy the smuggler leader and escape. And by escape, of course, just like always, we mean kill everyone else. Uh, we do have one uh, secret objective in this mission, and that is do not get hit by a 1% mini strike on the head. Uh, that's that's like a very important side objective. So we'll try our best not to get instantly destroyed. Okay. After the mission, let's make snowmen. So there's a ton of uh, increases to money, which I guess is what compensates for the low initial cash that it offered. However, we're gonna maybe we're gonna ignore it. Maybe not. I, I, I no. You know what? I think it's better to kill everything because that gives us the chance to get more salvage. Reporting. So we find contact. Just even a few tanks, perfectly fine. We are now ready to begin combat. And when we say that, we mean... I were planning an ambush. This is where I'd put it. Okay. We mean let the enemy come closer. And let's see what they bring up. New sensor contact. So two medium X, three medium X. One fires and already misses. Thanks to our five evasion pips. Four evasion pips. On five. And uh, a fourth mech, also medium, also fires, but this one hits. Really impressive. Our shoulder kinda dislocated, but we should still be fine. This tank over here is, uh, is an assault tank, which is pretty scary, so whenever we go over this mountain, we absolutely have to kill it. Nothing else matters. Okay, so time to start retaliating. They have wow, almost no armor at all. So let's Giving just shoot. See what happens after this. Decent. And now we get to hide in the forest. Jumping. Oop. Thankfully, we're in a Tundra environment, which means we can use a bit more of energy weapons. Waiting for orders. But sadly, we're still not in a position to attack. Got it. Because we're still too far. So all what all we will do is uh, start bracing with everyone. Tank moves forward two steps and then does nothing else. Really that far? Apparently it is. Um, you know what? I insist. Let's not do anything silly. So I will sprint over here. Maybe we will end up engaging from that side. Commander. Apparently there's another tank ready to fire at us uh, at assault speed. So we'll be very, very careful about this. Okay, everyone inside is bracing, everyone else has evasion pips and is in the forest. And those things combined should mean that we should be fine. At least I hope so. Also, we have broken line of sight, which means unless they move someone inside, these units will not be able to do anything. Maybe sensor locking us. Uh, thanks to the path, they got to move closer, but this actually is amazing for me, because that means I'm in range of destroying them. Shadowhawk continues to move forward, fires, deals tiniest bit of damage thanks to guarding. Is that it? I'm barely yep. scratched. That is very true, Glitch. You are an amazing pilot. We get fired upon again. And while we do take some more damage, we can also ignore it. So now it's time to retaliate. We'll begin with Decker. Decker has to tell us what is available on this side. Copy that. I guess my options are to go for the... You know, both, both guys are blocking, so... 
Maybe I'll just do a sensor lock. You know what? Let's do a sensor lock. We're just gonna sensor lock the guy over here. Sensors locked on. I want to. I'm, I'm curious about what he is. And we can check here. It's a double AC10. So I'm not really afraid of what it can do. Because it's too far away for it to shoot and hit. Minimal damage theoretically speaking. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, Glitch is now in perfect range to move forward and punish no sweat. this guy's over here. With our billion weapons. And uh, I believe if I go for, you know, you know what, you know what, I'm gonna underestimate these enemies a lot. I'm gonna just shoot at both of them and expect no to kill both. Because they have so little armor that I just expect them to start exploding. That's kinda correct. Half of that one exploded. And this one got armor exposed. I think that's fine. <clears throat> so the demolisher moves but gets nothing. And now... Now we get to do a tricky thing. So I will move over here. Put everyone in technical range. And say, there will be a missile for you, Mr. Tank. And there will be Gauss Rifle and PPC for both of you. So we go like this. Every shot is breaching, which means their guard, their cover means nothing. And if we're lucky, we'll get this demolisher destroyed. We hit a little bit of... Uh, ooh, ooh, that was good. So the thing falls down, gets destroyed, gets damaged at least. <clears throat> so the shots were good. Just not good enough. Nice try. Glitch kept, keeps getting attacked, but it means very little. So let's see what new behemoth can do for us. I guess we could jump forward and go go for the guy that is knocked down. This should be a kill. Even by its sheer amount of damage, it should pretty much destroy everything. And it did the trick. I guess we could have aimed for the head and destroyed too. New enemy turn, but only three mechs remaining. Decker gets uh, indirect fired. Damage is minor, Commander. Taking minor damage. Mech number two walks backward to hide, I guess. This is so weird. Shoots at Decker. Decker takes it. Suffers little. Damage is light. And the other one decides to move forward and goes over rough terrain and then does nothing. That's impressive. Finally this one decides that it's his last shot, so he might as well fire it. Deals good damage. Send me a real opponent. But not enough to worry us. Okay. So I hear ya. Pitch can now fire and if we stand still we lose all of this uh, all of this um, stability damage. So I'll gladly do this and break this mech in half. Absolutely every part has been demolished. <laughs> I guess if, if damage were to spread out in the other directions, all of it would have been destroyed. Thanks to them having a joke of armor. Decker takes some more missiles. Hopefully no head hits. Doesn't seem to be the case. So now it's our turn to move him. Where did the other guy go? Right up there. Okay. So in that case, we'll move up here. On it. Oh, give me one second, please. I want to reload the page because 
we have reached 50 followers 50 followers party time i actually have absolutely no idea what we can do with 50 followers i still have to examine this but uh i thank everyone for joining and uh Letting me make this a little bit more fun in my evenings because I always enjoy interacting with you all. So let's continue with our destruction path. That side of this gener uh, of this cicada is destroyed and the torsos have been damaged. The vehicle tries to move further, but it's too too heavy to aim for us. And uh destroy this guy yes yes we did so it is time for the others to start catching up Confirm. on the right side so we will start moving forward <laughs> good job Aaron thank you very much uh, I think twitch will now allow me to to like upload some sort of uh, emotes and uh, I've, I've already been pointed out some catchphrases that end up saying over and over uh, so we, we make we may end up producing some silly emotes and allowing everyone to enjoy them too. We shall see. Okay, so time to snipe some things. We move over here with Bucky. Shame I cannot shoot at the at the tank again, but we will get to do that soon, I guess. In the meantime, uh, we will go main fire on this one and side fire on this one, and we will use the ghost rifle for the same reason as last time, because it can simply just one shot one of these mechs with almost no health. Uh, no armor, sorry. Okay, the center torso survives at 11 HP, but on the meantime, this one gets one and a half parts destroyed. <laughs> Damn, uh, that's pretty harsh. So, Aaron, I can thank you again. Thanks for following. We'll see what we do in order to start celebrating, but for now, we have a mission to finish. Decker keeps getting hit. With tiny hits, thankfully we put him in the woods, so that makes sense. And these light like, mechs are more than happy to run around and try to fire at me. I guess shooting at Decker makes the most sense, not just because he's standing there, but he's the only one without an assault mech. Everyone else is pretty pretty uh, equipped for this mission. That thing seems like a, a small breeze could tip it over, so 5 points of stability damage and uh, unsteady terrain, rough terrain debuff. Even more shots on Decker. I guess our torsos are starting to suffer, so we'll have to pay attention to that. Losing lots of armor. Yes, yes we noticed. But there's one trick that only Decker can do, and that is uh, use a target. Do I want to destroy this? Do I want to destroy this? Okay, we'll choose this target. We'll go full ham. And after we shoot, we get to move. So the inverse of run and gun. Which is pretty useful for us. And uh, the smart thing we will do is gain faith evasion pips. And go down to another level. So that we break line of sight as well. Pretty impressive for a turn. Okay, and then glitch. What can I ask of you? Actually, I have an idea. So we'll move Glitch forward, but since she won't be able to fight, we'll ask her to sensor lock mm, this tiny vehicle, which is actually not tiny, it's just full of mean weapons. And uh, the vehicle decides to move forward. Will it get to shoot? The answer is still no. Amazing. Receiving you. So maybe, maybe we get to kill it before it even gets to act. That would be very good. New behemoth moves forward. All behemoths died in a super sad way for those that are tuning in now. Tank gets destroyed. The mech is equally effective as before. So well, that's going pretty well. <clears throat> and finally we'll let some of these enemies move forward. This is a second vehicle. It has uh, missiles though, so we get some, some shower on top of us. And Bucky, what can we ask of you? 
Aha, uh -huh, this is amazing. This is exactly what Bucky was built for. So we jump up here. And we say, listen, I want to fire missiles on this guy, the ghost rifle on this one, and then let's finish off this other guy. So PPC goes over here. Hopefully one shots the Cicada. If we hit center torso on the Shadowhawk, we'll get a kill. And I guess the Jenner will just get some random showers with our LRM-20. So we go for it. <laughs> that is decent damage. That is a knockdown because we knocked off one leg. And then, ah, oh, finally some revenge. We hit the head with a PPC, which means goodbye head. New round, the light makes move forward. You negligible damage to us. Medium max. <laughs> My god, look at the damage. This Cicada is. Uh... Wow, did it defend? Does it have no, no weapons? That would be funny. And finally. Apparently, we got shot in direct line of sight. So that's interesting. I guess terrain is working wonky again. So what do we have? We have enemies on the left. <laughs> Armless match is sad. Yes indeed. So we have enemies on the left that we want to take care of, but everything else is on the right. That means uh, we're what gonna ask Glitch to delete this mech over here. And we do it by moving, yes. So we will delete this guy over here. So that uh, hangover replacement of Behemoth and just move forward, maybe with a sprint even. Okay, so it's not a kill. That's very sad. That's very sad. Okay, it's not a kill. We'll have to still take care of it. This broken down Shadowhawk now has to limp away because its leg is gone. Uh, still gets to shoot at us, heals, takes damage, good job, should be proud. And Decker, the question for Decker is, can you s no, you cannot. So we'll ask Decker then, since he has to hide a little bit, he's the one that is technically hurt the most, we'll ask him to finish off this enemy, and the cool thing about Decker is that his sprint speed uh, can catch up with everyone else super fast. All weapons are go. So we go for this one. So we got the knockdown, but uh, we just dealt zero structural damage. That's that's lame. It's kind of annoying. I think I know how to solve that problem. I'm gonna use uh, Bucky's trick again. We're gonna split. Okay. Some shots over here. That's perfectly fine. Warning. Armor, low. armor low, you say? I don't believe you. Okay, on the arm. And I think our arm has no weapons. Can I make sure of that? Yes. So our weapons, our most important weapon is on the right arm, which is not the one that's getting hit. Okay, cool. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna split the damage again. And uh, I think... Wait, was I clicking on nothing? That click, click, this. Ah, it's on the ground, so the click doesn't want to register. Is that correct? Because, oh no no no! So we cannot look at it right now. Oh, that's super bad. That's super bad. I I really needed this to go easier. Okay, so in that case, we'll go like this. One, two, three. That's good. Uh, we will activate Vigilance because we have taken enough damage already. Ability damage. We don't want to be knocked down magically. We'll send the missiles over there. And we will ask the same uh, separation again. Gala can totally die from the PPC shot. And the Ghost Rifle may just take the other leg off from this from this mech. So we go. 
Engaging. Let's see what this rain of missiles do. We destroy a thing and we hit the head, but it's yet not enough for a kill. Something happened over there that I didn't get to see, and something happens over here that is sadly not enough. But did the shadow die? I think the shadow died. Okay, finally. Uh, What's the yellow bar before the below the overheat bar? That is the stability damage. So uh, stability has two important data. It accumulates depending on certain weapons. Lasers do zero, for example, but missiles do a lot. And once it, it passes a threshold that depends on your piloting skills, piloting no, uh, guts on your guts skill. Uh, so it could be further to the right. You will get unsteady debuff. So once it passes unsteady, you lose all your evasion charges and you get extra um, stability damage. And if for some reason it goes all the way up to 5 and passes it, you will fall down. And when you fall down, first, uh, you will need to stand up in the next turn. Second, uh, I, th I think that consumes your movement, I don't remember. Second, every shot against you can be an, a cold shot, which is uh, something that usually you have to pay for. Uh, and third, you will take a hit. Uh, wait, more things. So third, you'll take a, uh, an injury, and fourth, you will actually be pushed back one initiative. So seriously, getting knocked down is one of the strongest uh, bad things that can happen to you. So how do you make more stable after losing it by fire being fired upon? There's many ways. Vigilance is an ability you can use by paying some morale, and this actually does not end the turn. Alternatively, you could brace yourself, which basically means to defend, and then you take less damage overall, and also you lose all your stability pips. Or finally, if you do not move uh, in your turn, you will lose between 1 and 2 stability pips, and if you move, you will lose between 0 and 1, and if you jump jet, you will lose between 0 and 1 as well. So there's plenty of ways to lower this damage, but also plenty of ways to gain it. Um, it is it is possible to go all the way from zero to max and be knocked down in one attack. So you have to be careful looking out for that. All right, uh, this is this is Behemoth, and Behemoth could simply stand still. Uh, no, no, we cannot. Okay, so we we will have to move, and we can choose to move over here. And since we cannot put both of them in range, I'm thinking maybe I have to, I have to destroy this thing. No, you know what? We don't care about that tiny thing. The this mech has been heavily neutralized. So we should aim for this tank that is still full of weapons and unload everything that we have on it. Tank has been destroyed. Was pretty effective. Enemy vehicle destroyed. No problem, double gamer. I'm happy to explain about concepts that I, I have barely just understood a few days ago. So, uh, just naming them back to the viewers helped me understand better the rules of the game. This is also why we have equipped many of our mechs with a ton of missiles, because uh, knocking enemies down is one of the Here's fastest ways to get them commander. killed easily. So. Light mechs stand up and shoot at us, but without arms it gets much harder for them to be effective. We see one shot over here, it even misses. Destroying mech parts, another very effective way to destroy mechs. I, th I think that makes sense for everyone. This guy is limping. I wish we could destroy his other leg. He gets decent hits, but we are guarding, which means we're gonna take very little damage from this. And I think with this enemy back here, everyone will now be on site. Inside. Rain of missiles on hangover, but still not enough to even put us in unsteady mode. Okay, so how are we gonna deal with this? Actually, what do we have to deal with? Someone has not act yet. So the, this Jäger mech has not act yet, and I am insanely inclined in saying I I would not like to act, I would not like you to act at all. So goodbye. Full frontal hits. 
center torso has been destroyed. A very effective alpha strike destroyed. mech is destroyed and it doesn't get to act. So that's pretty good. Waiting for orders. Decker, what can you do for us? I guess you could jump up here. So we could go for this tiny guy or for this guy in the Got distance. It. Okay, we're gonna go for this one because people are on the left ready to take care of that one. Uh, I'm ignoring this guy for now. I can kill him in 20 million ways. But we're gonna we're gonna try something. We're gonna go for an aim shot of the leg. The leg currently has only 71 health total. That's a bit more than center torso. And uh, even though the chances are lower, even if we miss a little bit, uh, we'll be able to knock it down because damage on the leg has better stability damage. Sadly, it goes up. So our intentions did not pay off. Very, very sad. If the laser had hit the leg, we would have killed the mech. Waiting on you, Commander. So glitch, what can you do? Really think glitch should start moving forward. So glitch contains our biggest firepower arsenal uh, because her abilities allow her to be super pre precise, and any precision strike, namely with her, becomes super effective. Finally, we can move Behemoth and uh, we'll make sure that this mech disappears by shooting at it with our 10 weapons that we have installed on it. So, is there any reason why not? Nope. Confirmed. We go full frontal. I really don't expect this any of any part of this mech to survive. So, the things keep showing up, the numbers keep showing up. Enemy down. It has died plenty of times before it hit the ground. Next round, three mechs remaining. One of them is the smuggler leader, I hope. Warning. Enemy is rear arc. Ah. Okay, so the enemy gets to go uh, gets to attack us from behind and deals zero damage. And there we go, that's the target. The Orion has finally showed up. That's the guy we want to kill. That's the guy who hit us with a what was that? An AC twenty? AC ten? That made us uh, Waiting for orders. unsteady. So what we'll do in return is to move over here. Mm. Okay, so we we will. Ah, what do I want to do? Okay, so since since our heat is at its lowest point, I'm okay going for a jump, and I'm even going to activate vigilance. Uh, however, I really want to destroy this mech before it gets to act again. So let's fire over here. I believe mean, that's a kill. Five of the parts of the mech has been have been destroyed. Uh, for those that are tuning and don't know about this game, uh, if you destroy the center torso, the mech is dead. So it's usually the objective that you're trying to reach. Decker, I want you to punch this thing Roger and that. deal with it because I really don't want to spend more ammo on it. Boom! Enter torso destroyed. Pilot incapacitated. One less target. And now all that remains is this singular enemy. And that's Order. good. So what can we do? We can ask Baki to take a position here. Or up high. Yes, I like it. So we fly up here, and uh, thanks to the higher ground, we'll have some aim bonuses. Even though they have two evasion pips, all my weapons are at a very high chance to hit. So we shoot. That <sighs> center. And the missile rain is enough to bring it to five pips of uh, stability damage. And almost enough to knock it down in one shot. But for that, we have the Highlander that we prepared for close range. Close range. And uh, if it's not a kill, it will be at the very least a steady knockdown. So the knockdown happens, only the arm gets exposed, but now they have been pushed in initiative. 
pilot has been injured, and most importantly... Our target is bugging out. Stop it before it gets away. Okay, that's interesting. So we have to kill it this turn then. Fair enough. We'll give it our best shot, Commander? quite literally. Uh, we will get closer with Glitch, and we will show everyone what Glitch is capable of with her... How many were this? 24 missiles. 90% of call shot accuracy. So all will go to the torso. Most of everything will go to the torso. And uh, I don't think this thing can survive it. Yep, there we go. Explosion. Target has been destroyed. Our mission is successful. And uh, I think we took one tiny bit of damage, but nothing on our pilots. So, good job us. Mission, mission is successful. successful. A lot of things have been destroyed and hopefully they had cool weapons because we're here for the salvage. So let's see what we get. As we guessed, there was additional ways to gain money, that's why the price was... Uh, sorry, the, the reward money was so low to begin with, but we decided to ignore that and go for salvage. I think that was the right choice. Um, uh, we actually got zero damage dealt, zero real damage. In this game, the only way to take damage that you have to repair is to get hit in the structure, so as long as the armor holds, you will not need to repair. And we get to choose what salvage we want to bring. Uh, we really don't see a lot of things that are good. We'll take this Jäger. The Jäger has four missile pots. I think that's interesting. It offers fire support. Uh, I think that's perfect for Decker, maybe. We see an AC10++. I think that's worth taking. And uh, while it's true that we could finish a second Orion, we already have one. and. Wait, this is a variant. I don't think this is the same as the one we had. Yeah, I'll consider taking it unless there are some super good weapons. This is not a super good weapon. It's very decent though. SRM2, sadly too low. That's not enough for me. Okay, so there's nothing else special that I want to take. Uh, and in that case, uh, we will go for the most expensive parts, this is why the value of our claim salvage is so high. Uh, we get the special weapon and then we'll get to form one more assault mech. This is an assault, right? Oh, it's a heavy. Okay, so let's let's check it out. Did we get anything else cool? I really don't think so. We got some random stuff. Ammunition, not really useful. So now that we are in the overview again, we can check our new mechs. Okay, so we can already go to the next story mission. I guess we should do that. I really like uh, moving forward in the story because uh, while it's true that I could go around and farm everything in the galaxy and become stronger and stronger, um, I really like to experience the game as the developers tried uh, intended for me to experience it, which means whenever the next mission unlocks, the developers think we are ready to take it on. So that's that's why we will like, we like to go forward. So the Orion V has been completed. That means we can check out if we want to modify the mech in the mech bay. This is the Orion. It's a heavy. We can compare it with the Dragon. The Dragon currently has less or less missiles and way less tonnage even though it's also a heavy so I'm very curious if we can equip this Orion for Decker to a much better composition okay so what do we have we have an AC10 and I don't think that's the weapon we want to use on this certainly not these tiny things either. You know what? We're gonna strip the equipment. That feels good. We're gonna maximize the armor because I'd like to know how much room I really, really have. 
we usually don't go for full armor anyway, but uh, I would rather start with this and then roll back our armor increases. And what do we want to do? We can use LRM 10, LRM 10, and uh, one LRM 20. It's actually already pretty decent. Uh, and in addition, we want to equip some ammo for it. LRM ammo, LRM ammo, LRM ammo. And uh, let's check out how many of these jump jets we can fit. Four. And we're gonna need some heat sinks. One, two, three, four. So this is extremely efficient. We could just keep jumping around, and uh, it has enough armor and a lot of hits. Is there anything on Decker's current mech that we appreciate? He has a laser. I don't think that's too important. Put 50 ammo on the back, uh, armor. Uh, we lower this one a ton. 65 is fine. And I guess I could go with like uh, 125 in the legs. And then a little less on the arms because we need to keep balancing backwards, downward. All the weight. Uh, we are still away of hmm, maybe one less head kit sink. Two less. Because really the only reason for the heat sinks to exist is to go with the jump jets. So we can remove three of them and then we just don't use the jump jets every turn. I, I think that's enough. And then we hit one and one and the mech is ready. Uh, so what are we building with this? Um, we are creating for Decker a mech that is able to use his tactic ability to the max, which means a lot of indirect fire. Uh, and also he will be able to do uh, run and gun tactics by shooting first and then moving uh, away from line of sight if he gets in trouble. So we'll see. This takes us uh, 13 days and I think that's perfectly fine. In the meantime we also have a mech ready. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. So we check our mech warriors again in case we can level them up. Especially Hangover needs to accumulate experience by this ability. Good to go. Glitch can now go for the final point here. Triple indirect fire, not really necessary. So we go for the extra aim. I do, do I really? A lot of experience. I could also buy like half the piloting tree. And then let her have increased max sprint. I think I really like this. Yes, yes I do. Training. So we instead go for max sprint. Uh, the really point? the last point. It's so expensive that uh, I always am reluctant, super reluctant to buy it. We can now justify buying the second indirect fire penalty uh, decrease for Decker. And with Bucky, what shall we do? Oh, the sprint, of course. So we go for the sprint upgrade for everyone that can finally get it. Alright, time for the next contract. And it's a liberation in Itrom. Proceed to Itrom where you will assist the Restoration Army's effort to liberate House Galas. Okay, so the story is exactly as we were told. Uh, there are people in prison here that oppose the Directorate and the enemy of my enemy is my friend. At least that's how the saying goes. And off to start traveling we go again. A month finishes. Okay. Never mind. We'll just go. We'll continue to be cheap because we keep paying more and more every month. Uh, and yes, it's true. We have a ton of money. But there's no reason to to throw it away just for one or two morale points. Even more traveling animations, which start to accumulate and get a little bit annoying. But they are unskippable. We tried. Job's done, Commander. 
Okay, so the mechs are ready. Are we really building nothing here? Are we not upgrading anything? That's impressive. I really thought we were. Ooh, that's interesting. So, okay, okay, okay. That's interesting. What we're gonna do is then build a gamma pot that costs 2 million but uh, unlocks everything else remaining here. So we go for it. This is why we didn't spend a lot of money, because these upgrades are super expensive. But we now have arrived Ithrom, and we're ready to take on this story mission. I also think this will be the last mission we do in the night, so let's enjoy it together. We have arrived at Ithrom, are we ready to proceed? Actually, we are not. Because I always check the store wherever I arrive. It sells Panthers or Shadowhawks, but we are well, well past those units. An AC5 with extra stability damage. That's that's interesting. Interesting. Ah, but it's so expensive. And we really don't have money right now. A PPC for extra stability damage. That's a lot of stability damage extra. A laser with nothing, extra crit, and then one of these plus six, that's not enough for us. In that case, wait, I didn't mean to click. In that case, we're ready to engage the contract. <clears throat> well, let's watch the story unfold together. Oh, wait, we don't even get story. Okay, in that case, we deploy. And as with every deployment, I'm gonna cut the stream for five seconds in order to get a separate video. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take an, a minute later, so after the stream, to prepare the the links so that everyone can check the old videos in YouTube and get everything linked together. So I will see you soon in five seconds. 